Yo, what's up guys, Sunin here and today I'll be showing you how to do this time slice effect. Uh, it's pretty easy effect, all you need is a sa sapphire plugin, if that's the right way to spell it, but it's pretty easy to download. Um, just go to YouTube and search how to download sapphire plugin, I don't know. I'll leave the name, not the link, the name in the description. Alright, so this is what you need. Alright, so when you have your two clips ready, uh, you're gonna you're gonna pre-compose them, and then find where the clip ends, and just mark it so you're just I don't know so you know. So then you're gonna add time slice as time slice. So even if you put it, uh, when you just put it, you have already. You already get the effect. Oh, wait, let me just preview it. So when you put it, you already get the effect you want. Um, but I'll show you the settings I used. So you know, I'll I'll explain like which one of the settings is for what. So you know, you can like adjust it as like as you want. So what I did was I put this on eight. This is the slice number. So I c if I put it on two, there will be only two um, slices. I, I like to put it on 8 and then for frame number I put it on minus 1 uh, then I go 1, 2, 3 um, frames uh, from your marker come here cl uh, press U on your keyboard just mark a frame and then go 1, 2, 3, 4 frames and I just put 1 so that's all I did um, what you also could do is put this uh, interp frame which will get a, like this nice fade or something so that's up to you but um, when you add your shakes, scales, cc uh, which I'm gonna add right now it's gonna look much better so I, let's add it um, if I come here so I'm gonna go scale come to the last frame make it like 150 do a little graph I don't know oh no wait my bad no do a little graph so I'm doing this manually so you can see how I'm doing it but alright so that's one and then do a, z do a zoom out from here My my voice is kind of weird because I got some cold. Um, ignore it. So that should be it. And now when you come here, preview. Bam! That's it. It's really really easy effect. Um, this frame offset uh, is just so it doesn't begin earlier. I put it minus one. You can put it like, you know. You you can see what it does. So, um, I'm not gonna add shakes. Uh, I would not touch these. I don't know if someone uses it. Oh yeah, it's uh, it's a slice direction, so you can go like this. But I don't know if anyone would like that. I mean, it, it depends on transition though, you might like it. Um, that's what that does, I didn't even know. So, that's it for this tutorial. Uh, if you're not subscribed, please do, because there are a lot of you guys who did not subscribe uh, and still are watching our videos all the time. Plus, like this video um, for more tutorials. Uh, type in the comments if you what you want to see next, if you uh, want to learn something new. Alright, so that's it and bye.